fold and envelop me. And I get lost in the tide, the undertow of time collapsing all over me, and I can taste the relativity, the dreamscape unfolding before my waking eyes as I grow to despise my mind-making lies that it conjures not of me, not from me, that I am some victim of circumstance just standing around all this happenstance that happened by chance to happen to me, rather than owning the happening. That is, of course, until the happening happens to happen some happy for me. Until I happen upon the likes of love, recognition, money, relaxation, well, of course, that's my manifestation. A product of my invention, a slice of a pie of my own intention. But just mention my retention of apathetic apprehension or my defensiveness or aggression. Even just mention the distension in my flanks and there's dissension in the ranks. No matter by which that could be of my making, I'm an artist by Jove. I have more creativity than that. Why would I render my world so flat when loose ends of the universe crease, fold, and envelop me? Thank you. Woo! Ah, uh, this one I call curmudgeon, because I'm a getting to be a grumpy old cuss of a man. Just happens, doesn't it? <laughs> you see what I'm that old guy in the theater? God damn, bitch, shut up with your rock and roll. <laughs> anyway. I'm getting older. My drive to contrive, I'm still alive, is getting bolder by the day. The way the all-too-feeble story gets told over and over, and the loneliness seems increasingly difficult to shoulder, I feel the colder clutch around my heart as passion starts to slip away. The zest, the zeal, the fire of feeling, the joie de vivre, disappear, disappearing, dissipating, evaporating, leaving naught but this lackluster stain to cleave from the place a once rather vital organ once beat once crept, once leaped, like leapt at every little chance to fall, at every possibility. Hmm. <clears throat> I've had every little chance to fall for something, someone, her, you. That voice, that frame, that eyes, the game, that Voice and its noise, the cadence, tempo, and timbre, the fire formed of cinder, the way the music of your mouth makes me weak, because when you speak, angels sing from above. Every day white seem to turn into love songs. The want, the wanting you, the wanting you to give your heart and soul to me, the want that would haunt my soul like Kant's categorical imperative, fine-tuning the sauntering narrative as the wandering whispers the pace, as if whisked the way to a place or direction of such certainty, putting the fun back in the fundamental duty to fall in love with you, see, the moral obligation of it all, even if it means willfully falling headlong down a ten-floor, ten-story flight of concrete stairs, eyes open at awares all the while, a smile stretched across my smitten face, with every remembrance of every trace your spider-leg fingers ever trailed along my body. Now it hardly seems to phase me, something more akin to lazy, the way we fucked off the world in favor of stargazing into one another. More than friend, more than lover, certainly more than just another soul in this pantomime of space and time and such. Coalescing in touch, breathing reason into everything, especially nerve endings, whose beginnings would never, I would never wish away. I can smell the decay as that dream slowly fades, a sunset set to the time of my soul dying. And my insides fall to wayside, belying a better never, never land than the ground on which I stand has left to offer. And the coffers fill with an emptiness only time can make mute. So resolute, it makes my stomach turn. Taciturn. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Give me one more chance to burn. 